Hey, what's going on there, folks? How's it going? Earthmaster here on this end. It is Saturday, February 17th, 2024, about 1138 here, California time. The latest activity looks like a 2.7 hiding up here in Alaska area. Let's go ahead and check out the last 24 hours of earthquake activity out here. Of course, did see uh, some rocking, uh, rolling earthquakes out here outside of San Antonio last night. Looks like we did see one more three-pointer out here in the mix of earthquakes outside of the uh, San Antonio area. Now, this region did see a, a fairly decent-sized earthquake here last night with a 4.7 coming into the area. It was felt fairly broadly across the region, even up to uh, the Austin area. Uh, so this earthquake activity we checked out last night, and it is situated out there in quite a few oil fields. Uh, within the vicinity of these earthquakes. That's going to be these little checkered boxes with uh, some holding tanks on them. So definitely uh, looks like maybe some uh, pressure being applied out here across this area of the North American plate. We don't normally see a whole lot of earthquake activity out here, but uh, in terms of pressure, m you know, the majority of these plates out here are always under strain and uh, pressure. So hitting these, uh, these other areas where we normally don't see earthquake activity here recently. Uh, I expect that to continue, obviously, with the uh, massive amount of oil fields that's uh, in operation and has been in operation throughout the past. <clears throat> All right, uh, what else we got here? Not a whole lot through the Pacific Northwest right now. Uh, and as far as California goes, a look on the, the USGS map here shows a handful of smaller quakes in the last hour. Still watching down here across the southern end of the San Andreas Fault across the Brawley Seismic Zone. Uh, Still seeing a little bit of earthquake activity this morning. Nothing big, but uh, still, you know, still kind of staying consistent out here. So we'll continue to watch that maybe for some further movement. Uh, across the Yellowstone area of National uh, Yellowstone National Park up in Wyoming, just a quick glance here at uh, local seismic activity. Not a whole lot going on here today. Uh, maybe one little earthquake or two on the map, but aside from that, fairly quiet out there across the region. As uh, far as the uh, rest of the uh, Pacific plate out here, looks a little bit quieter here today compared to yesterday in terms of the multitude of quakes. Um, some movement out uh, off the coast of Japan. It looks like a, a little 4.7 into the Japan Trench, about 42 kilometers deep. That was just after uh, 3 o'clock my time here. So uh, a little bit of buildup out here across this area of the Pacific plate. Further down south, as you can see here, a couple earthquakes from yesterday showing up. As far as New Zealand goes, looks like uh, most of this movement here from uh, last night. We have been seeing a little bit of elevated activity out there recently, but uh, the general view out here looks like it's fairly quiet for now um, across the Western Pacific. We're still seeing though, uh, definitely still seeing some earthquake activity here across the plate boundary south into the Gulf of California. Uh, USGS not picking up on that yet. Uh, it looks like it's, a, well, they should have picked up on it, but there's a 3.9 and a 4-pointer out here in the Gulf of California area. Uh, that that activity and the recent activity uh, just a little bit further up north has been playing a, a big part on what goes on up here across the plate boundary of California. We've been seeing, uh, you know, quite a few 4s and some elevated activity here recently, so we could still see that throughout the day today. South America, a handful of earthquakes out there, mostly smaller quakes into the deeper regions of the Peru-Chile Trench. And out here across the Puerto Rico area, let's see what we got. Um, well, I'm trying to see this earthquake right here. Looks like a 3.3, .3, a little bit closer over here to the subduction zones, uh, right around this area. Uh, USGS not picking up on that, but uh, for the activity they are reporting here across Puerto Rico, generally small earthquake activity. Uh, here over the last 24 hours, nothing major of concern for now there in that region. Uh, the Atlantic Ocean, fairly quiet. Uh, the Hawaii area, let's see what's going on here. Doesn't quite look as active as yesterday. Notice that? A little bit of uh, calmer conditions out here today. A handful of earthquakes, but uh, let's go double check the activity there across the Kilauea volcano and see if uh, anything has changed here in the last uh, 24 hours or so. Uh, the latest update, the volcano is currently not erupting. And uh, this was put out today from the USGS here, stating that uh, they're still seeing low to moderate rates of seismicity at the summit and along the fault systems there southwest of the summit. 
Um, but aside from that, uh, let's see here. Um, the overall decrease in seismicity and deformations suggests that this event is you know, kind of calming down, kind of winding down a little bit. However, renewed episodes of earthquake activity and probably inflation uh, could lead to an eruption with a little advance warning, but that's what we want to look for, right? Obviously, earthquake activity and inflation rates. Uh, there was a lot of magma displaced here recently from the uh, summit region off to the southwest rift zone, and uh, it's since kind of just disappeared, just kind of sitting down there. Uh, let's go back over here to the map, see what we got for any uh, seismic activity on the stations here across the area, see if these are going to work today. They're not. I don't know what's going on with this, but I don't know if it's me. It, it shouldn't be me. Uh, but <laughs> sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. I don't know what's going on. It's really weird. Maybe it could be... Uh, let me check something out here real quick. I wonder if it's got to do with the, um, the browser I'm using, maybe. Let's go up here, type this in, and uh, see what's up here. Don't need to restore pages. It might have something to do with the browser. We'll see. I'm just trying out the uh, Microsoft Edge right now, seeing if this is working. But it doesn't even look like stuff is loading properly. See, that one works. It'll let me click on this. But for some reason there, something's going on with the other one. So I'll have to look at that. Maybe I need to update my browser. But as uh, far as earthquake activity goes, um, 1930, is that the correct time? It looks like that's pretty close. So these graphs are up to date. Not a whole lot of seismic activity out there. A handful of earthquakes, but uh, generally not a whole lot going on. As far as the tilt meters go out here across the uh, summit region, a little bit of tilt inflation there from last night. But uh, the overall trend still shows that we're you know well below what we were over the last few months there across the summit area. Uh, so we'll continue to watch that and, of course, report back on anything that may uh, change out here. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Iceland activity. Let's go over here and check out the Iceland movement. See if anything else is uh, stirring up out here today. Still seeing some elevated activity out here across the rift zones. Uh, 2.9 here within the last 12 hours. A uh, total tally of 26 earthquakes it looks like. Not a big number, but we're still seeing you know, some elevated activity across the rift zones here. And also outside of the Grindavik region, just north here of that town close to where the uh, recent eruptive fissure activity has taken place. That uh, activity uh, is obviously gearing up potentially maybe for some further eruptive activity here soon. Uh, they're stating sometime maybe by the end of the month or early March we should have accumulated enough magma to, uh, uh, to see a, a similar event as what we've seen earlier this month there with eruptive fissure activity. Still kind of climbing here in terms of the inflation, so that's going to continue as long as we see further impl uh, influx of magma from below. Uh, Storm Prediction Center, not a whole lot of severe weather right now. We do have a chance of uh, thunderstorms today, but look at this on Monday. We have a marginal risk for some severe weather uh, out here where I'm at. So I'm going to be out there today, or uh, Monday. Uh, I'll be live streaming here the uh, potential activity now that's not a huge threat uh, but it does show a uh, a five percent chance of maybe seeing some severe weather out here and that's mainly due uh, to some uh, tornado possibilities here they're talking about a localized risk for a brief tornado and or wind damage is possible from thunderstorms that could pop up here monday in the afternoon here just right around this area it, it includes sacramento stockton modesto i'm not going to drive down that far i'm just outside of chico here so i'll uh, probably cover the northern edge of this five percent zone on monday let's take a look at the forecasted models here's our current storm system coming in here to the west coast bringing with it uh, right now we just have some light showers coming in not a whole lot of heavy rain uh, but it's a bigger system there on uh, Sunday into Monday with that low pressure system spinning offshore that's going to bring the potential for some severe weather out here of course and some decent rainfall and uh, after that well maybe another system there as we head into the uh, next next week I guess just have to see how this plays out either way still looks fairly wet out here folks in terms of the uh, 
the uh, winter wet pattern that we're in not gonna not gonna complain all right seismic activity fairly quiet a little bit of spiky activity here across yellowstone um and i did check that let me see what we got over there um that may be some of the spikiness showing up there i'm not for sure if it's uh snow wind um it, that activity is not really showing up nearby at the other local stations here so it looks like it may just be confined to that area um looks a little chilly up there i'm sure it's a little bit colder in some of these regions but 19 degrees up in west yellowstone so that could be snow or ice the wind's not really that big of a deal up there uh but uh, maybe some some ice quakes up there it looks like all right there's our low pressure system getting ready to gear up here for uh sunday into monday aside from that folks um hope everyone has a good day um congrats there to the new members of the channel harlita javica has donated quite a bit i think about uh, i don't i don't know how many have have been uh donated but i think about 20 or so this this is just on uh, this recent live stream but we uh, appreciate you there harlita for uh donating all those memberships and of course that is an option if you feel like you want to help out uh, the channel and give people memberships there is the option down there to uh not only super chat and whatnot but uh, provide a uh, membership there to the folks all right i'm out of here folks have a good day i'm gonna sit back here and enjoy this uh shower activity that we're getting we'll catch you guys back here a little bit later unless something major happens but i will be off here on the side uh, just kind of monitoring the things that are happening out here we'll catch you guys back here a little bit later